All right, everybody, day 25 of my semi-automatic handgun collection, and today we have the big brother to the Q4SF I showed you yesterday. This is the Q5SF from Walther. Once again, the SF stands for steel frame, so this is an all steel gun. There is no polymer frame on this gun, and once again, this gun is kind of a beast. But I will have to say, since I have G10 grips on this one instead of those brass grips from Locke, this is about a half a pound lighter than the Q4. However, if I change the grips to the same grips on both ones, this one would be a little heavier. Like the Q4 I showed you yesterday, this gun is pretty much set up for competition, and that's why this is actually called the Q5 Match Steel Frame. It's set up, ready to go, if you want to get out there and shoot competitively. Now, is it the best competition gun? Well, no, I think it would need some tweaking to be a really good competition gun, but it gives you a good head start. It's got the full length barrel. It's got the adjustable rear target sights. One thing about that rear target sight though, it is part of the slide plate. So if you take that off, you're also... Now, one thing about the rear target sight, once again, like the Q4, it's part of the plate. So if you take the plate off, the sight goes too. So there goes your chance at uh, co-witnessing. But I guess when you're competitively shooting, that doesn't really matter. The gun also has red fiber optic front sights. It's got an accessory rail. And it's got all them fancy speed holes on the slide. And these are just speed holes. These might look like it's cut for a compensator here, like maybe the barrel's also cut. But when you look at the barrel, there's no holes on the barrel that would correspond with the speed holes on the slide. This gun is also chambered in 9mm, which is fine for competition because, you know, targets don't keep coming at you with a knife after you've shot them three or four times. It just takes one shot to complete your mission there. So 9mm is fine for that, and this has 15 rounds of 9mm in the magazine and one in the chamber for a total of 16 rounds of 9mm. This gun is once again just a regular striker fired gun with a two piece trigger here with the little safety doohiggy in the middle of it. And it is just ready to go whenever you pull the gun, you pull the trigger, once it fires, it resets and you go again. The only changes I've made to this gun are the grip. And I think I might've changed the trigger. I don't know if I changed the trigger or not. I don't know if it came blue or I made it blue. Uh, either way, it's got blue grips and a blue trigger. Some people ask, ooh, how can you not remember if you changed the trigger on something? Well, if you do it two or three times, I guess you remember it. But if you've done things like that hundreds of times, all kind of blurs together. So like I said, I can't say that I changed the trigger, but I might have, I definitely changed the grips. Other than that, this gun is, like I said, stock as it came, because as it came, it is a really great shooter's gun. Now, I haven't shot this gun a whole lot. I think my son has actually shot it more than I have, and he really likes it. But, you know, if you're someone that likes to go out and time yourself, see how fast you can be, how accurate you can be, or you actually compete, this gun might be for you. And it is, once again, the 25th gun in my semi-automatic handgun collection, my Walther Q5 Match. SF.